Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video we're going to solve this equation x to the power of 9 plus x to the power of 6 equals 12. And in here we're looking for the real values of x or in other words looking for the real solution to the equation. And so before we start, for those new and are willing to help my channel grow, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. I would appreciate that and thank you very much. So now let's start. And so how do you solve the equation? Did you notice any relationship between the exponents? Power of 9, power of 6. That's divisible by 3, right? 9 divided by 3 is 3, 6 divided by 3 is 2. So how do we solve the equation then? And so based on that relationship of the exponents, we can relate one term to the other that's based on their exponent, right? So the first term then can be written as x to the power of 3 raised to the power of 3, right? And the second term can be written as x to the power of 3 raised to the power of 2. And the last term, you just copy the constant term on the right. So the exponents getting multiplied, right? So from the exponent formula, if we have a raised to the power of m raised to the power of n is the same we're written as a raised to the power of m times n. So that means we're multiplying the exponent. And so what will be the next step? How about the constant term on the right side of the equation, the 12? What are we going to do with the 12? So, all right, let's do it this way. So right now we just copy the left-hand side of the equation. And the constant term 12 on the right-hand side of the equation can be written as 8 plus 4, right? Since 8 plus 4 is 12. Now, do you notice something? This is cube, this is square, and this is x cubed and x cubed. So the base is the same, x cubed, right? And the exponent is 3 and the exponent is 2. Can we express the constant term in, in terms of exponent? And we find any base for both of these that will be common. So we'll do a base 2, right? 8 is base 2, exponent 3. And 4 is base 2, exponent 2. And so, we can see the relationship now, right? And let's see. So let's go ahead and solve. So the right-hand side, 8 can be written as 2 cubed, and 4 can be written as 2 squared. And the left-hand side remains the same. And so what do we do now? So now you can see that these terms right here are related to the terms on the right-hand side. So the exponent here is 3, exponent 2. The right-hand side is exponent 3, exponent 2. So now let's move the uh, constant term to the left side of the equation. So we now have the constant terms from the right-hand side now on the left hand side so now we can combine those terms now with the same exponent right and since we have x cubed base x here the same base x so we can substitute x cubed with another variable so let's say let's use a a as the value of x cubed and so now we have a cubed plus a squared minus 2 cubed minus 2 squared equals 0. So now, if you notice now, we can have this both together, right? And this is squared together. So the cubes combine. So let's uh, move this uh, next to this first term. So we have a cubed minus 2 cubed plus a squared taking this one minus 2 squared equals 0 
So now we we know this something, right? Are you familiar with this combination? A cubed minus 2 cubed and here A squared minus 2 squared. So from here we're using the algebra formula. Using formula in algebra. So we have A cubed minus B cubed is equal to A minus B times the quantity A squared plus AB plus B squared. And here A is the same A and B is 2. And A squared minus 2 squared using another algebra formula from A squared minus B squared is equal to A minus B times the quantity A plus B where once again B is 2 okay so we're now using the expanded form of these two formulas alright so let's do that so A cubed minus B cubed is now this one right here the expanded form so that is where A is the same A minus B B here is 2 so A minus 2 times the quantity A squared plus A is the same A but B is 2 so 2a plus b squared that's 3 squared 3 squared is 4 then plus the expanded form of this a squared minus b squared so this is a minus b where b is 2 times a plus b again is 2 equals 0 so here we have a minus 2 as common, right? So simplify. So we have a minus 2 factor out. So we have a squared plus 2a plus 4 plus a plus 2 equals 0. Simplify, we have so we have a minus 2 times the quantity a squared plus 3a plus 6 equals 0. And so here we have the factor a minus 2. So we have the value of a here is 2, right? Equating a minus 2 to 0 and the other factor to 0. So let's equate a minus 2 equals 0. So here we have the value of a is equal to 2. And since a is a substituted variable from a is equal to x cubed, finding the value of x, so we have x cubed is equal to 2, where a is 2. Solving for x, raise the equation to the exponent of the reciprocal of 3, so that is 1 third. So x is equal to 2 to the power of 1 third, or x is equal to the cube root of 2 as the value of x and considering the other root of x from earlier we have this factor let's equate this to 0 so we'll get the value of a and eventually get the value of x right so we have here the other factor a squared plus 3a plus 6 equating it to 0 so let's find the value of a by quadratic equation right we'll have the delta here the determinant we have the value under the radical of the quadratic formula that is b squared minus 4ac corresponding to that, right? So we have here b is 3, right? The coefficient of the second term, so that is 9. b squared, so 3 squared is 9, minus 4 times a, the coefficient of the first term, 1, and c is 6 so 4 times 6 so this is 9 minus 24 so delta is negative 15 so this is less than 0 so the value of a here is in the form of complex all right complex value so we're just after the real solution 
to the equation, right? So we have here the value of x, the cube root of 2. So this will be our final answer. So now let's verify our answer. We have the original equation. So x to the 9 plus x to the 6 equals 12. Substituting the value of x as the cube root of 2. So we have cube root of 2 can be written as 2 to the power of 1 third. And we have here power of 9 plus 2 to the power of 1 third to the power of 6. Is this equal to 12? So simplify the exponent. 2 to the power of we're multiplying the exponent, so this becomes 9 divided by 3, right? So that's 3. Plus 2 to the power of 6 divided by 3 is 2. So, is this equal to 12? 3 cubed is 8, and 2 squared is 4. So this is equal to 12. So this means that our solution is correct. Okay, value of x is the cube root of 2. Final answer. And so there's another way, the shortest way to solve the equation. If you have the discerning insight about how to solve this equation, so you start from here, starting from here, or from here. That is direct comparison among the terms of the equation left and right. So this is related directly to this term and this term to that term. So this term to that term, since they both have cube, and this term to this term, both the same the exponent of 2, or the power of 2. So this is now x cubed to the power of 3 equals 2 to the power of 3. So these two terms together. If you know this, we can cancel the 3. Right? So we have x cubed is equal to 2. And solving for x, raising the whole equation with the reciprocal of 3. So that's 1 third. Right? Solving for the value of x, we have x cubed to the power of 1 third and is equal to 2 to the power of 1 third. And here, cancel the 3. We ended up having value of x is equal to 2 and to the power of 1 third or the cube root of 2. The same way with the other two terms, direct comparison. So we have x cubed to the power of 2 equals 2 to the power of 2. Here, cancel the 2, ended up having x cubed is equal to 2. And once again, that will be the same. Looking for the value of x is equal to the cube root of 2. Alright? So the same answer. And so that's all for now and thank you for watching. I would appreciate it if you can hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. Thank you very much. I will see you on my next videos. Have a great day everyone. Take care. Bye bye.